Welcome to Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. Only two areas of the movement remain to be disassembled after the two live streams. The calendar works near the top and the keyless works lower down. Both are heavily corroded. The calendar works are under a plate and the plate is held in place by a rusty stuck screw. The keyless works turned out to be much easier to get started and the single screw holding the top part in place was trivial to remove. After removing two parts, the next part of the keyless works on the right appeared to be held in place by another screw with a damaged head. The slot was visible, but much of one side seemed to have been gouged away. It looked like both remaining screws were corroded in place, so I applied a few drops of rust remover to one each of the corroded areas and let it dissolve for a short while. With the rust removed, it was clear that the damaged screw was simply a pin with a score down the middle, and the part to the right just needed to be gently worked loose. The part towards the middle was much easier to make out with much of the rust dissolved. I almost lost it, but thankfully it caught on my clothes and I was able to retrieve it. The final part of the keyless works was very firmly in place, but came away with some persuasion. I tried the calendar work screw again, but repeated tries eventually damaged the my cheap screwdriver. It turns out that the plastic stand isn't the only thing wrong with a cheap watchmaker screwdriver set. The steel is so soft it can fairly quickly be honed back into shape with a stone. I was eventually able to get it out with a slightly larger screwdriver. With the screw removed, the remaining plate, pinion, wheel and spring were fairly straightforward. The next step will be to clean the parts, then attempt to reassemble the core train and mechanism. I have a couple of options for how to do this. I can do it on live stream, as I did with most of the disassembly. This reveals every step of the process and all my mistakes and inexperience, but with poorer image quality. I could record and edit the process much like this video, but will show less of the detail of the process and will be much more work for me to prepare. I enjoy live streams, but find the higher quality of a recorded video to be much more rewarding. 
Let me know what you'd prefer in the comments, though the decision will depend on the time I have available between other projects.